So one of the fundamental premises of the Creo strategy is that there'll be no regressions in capabilities. So functionality that you have today, this family table functionality or interchange group functionality or uh, pro program for managing variants of, of designs, all of those capabilities will still be available in the, in the Creo generation of our, of our software. What we'll do with AnyBomb though, the AnyBomb assembly breakthrough technology will allow customers to leverage business intelligence that might exist in Windchill and use that business intelligence to drive unique variants. The, the problem with family tables and those other tools that I mentioned today for creating unique variants is that all of that intelligence lives in the CAD model. And that's a viable solution up to a certain point of complexity. But once the complexity of the product, of the, the complexity of the options and variants and the variability reaches a certain point, companies have told us, we don't want to manage that in our CAD system. We want to manage that in our PLM system. We want to manage it in our PLM system so that we can have broader enterprise visibility to it and also leverage it downstream for manufacturing and ERP and all of those places. So AnyBomb is about taking that intelligence and driving it back back into the CAD models. So we're not, we're not saying that the AnyBomb assembly breakthrough technology is the only way to manage product configuration. We're saying it's a new way. It's a more powerful way. But all of those traditional capabilities will continue to be supported in the Creo generation of our software.